Hey, what's up, everyone? So, I'm going to talk a little about cross pollination. <clears throat> so, uh, you can see these are three seed grown Stenocerius martinezii right here. They're not going to flower for a long time, but I'm just going to use them as an example. These actually come from different seed pods, so they're not that closely related, but they kind of are. This is also a Martinezii. This came from a, this, I believe this is a hybrid. This came from a different seed pod too. And you can tell it looks much different than these. Anyways, so for uh, to explain cross-pollination, let me uh, use the example of these three Martinezii eyes. So in order to uh, cross-pollinate uh, most of the Stenocerius, which are self-sterile, you have to use a cactus that came from a different seed. So when these three grow up and they flower, you can use this pollen to pollinate this one and this one. And you could use this one to pollinate this one and this one. And then you could use this one to pollinate this one and this one. You're with me here? But a mistake a lot of people do is they try to pollinate cacti that are clones of each other. Let me explain to you what a clone is. Let's use this Sirius right here. It's a pretty big Sirius right here. So I've had this one, this one has been in the ground for a long time. Anyways, so I'm going to use this as an, ex as an example. If I were to cut this cactus here, cut this one here, cut this one here, and let's say cut this one here, and I were to plant all those in the ground, once they flower, if this is in fact self-sterile, it would not none of those flowers will be able to cross-pollinate each other because they came from the same cactus. That's what is referred to as a clone. It is an exact copy of a plant or a cactus in this case. So any cuttings you get from here will not be able to pollinate any other cuttings from this cactus. So what I did up here, oh, let me show you this. This is why I put this cereus here. This is actually a spiralis. You see it's a, it has variegated. Uh, but this one, so I have this one close to this one because now when this pollinates, either I could cross pollinate with the brush or the bees can easily jump from here to here and vice versa to pollinate each other. Well, so the flowers can pollinate each other because there is no way you can say this is a clone of this. Yeah, these are different different species. This is a spiralis. So I also put other cereus out here in my front yard. Right here. This one I've had here for... I don't know, maybe a few years, not that long. Hey, kitty. So, this is not a clone of this. So, either me or... Oh my god, my the kitty's here. <laughs> I'll go feed you right now, kitty. Anyways, so this is not a clone of this right here. So they, oh my God, I'll be right back. Let me, let me feed this kitty. Okay. So this cactus here is not a clone of this, or I should say this is not a clone of that one. And this is a clone of this one. This is a, a very similar, um, serious, like the one I have there. Except this one has a more of a darker, not dark green, let's say a 
like a faded grayish green color. So when this gives fruit, when this flowers, I cannot cross pollinate it with that one, but I could cross pollinate it with that one and that one. And also this one right here. It's a different series I have here. And here's another series I have. This is a Rosa Flores. So I could cross pollinate any of these here with each other. So that's the difference between uh, a clone. That's exactly what a clone is.